coming to you from the First Colony Branch Library, and today I'm going to show you how to do a photo transfer. With photo transfers, we're taking the pigment from images printed uh, on copy paper with a laser printer, and we're taking that pigment and transferring it to a smooth surface, like wood, like, or like stone, like slate here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made these two image transfers on these wooden slices. So let me take you over to my desk and we'll get started. These are the supplies you're going to need to do an image transfer. Uh, first, you're going to want an image on a piece of regular copy paper, and you want to make sure this is printed with a laser printer. Otherwise, during the transfer process, the ink might smear. And like I said before, um, just use regular copy paper, nothing thick like cardstock. You will also need some Mod Podge, a brush to apply the Mod Podge, some scissors to cut out your image. I like to use a pen to trace out the shape of my object. You will need your smooth surface. And this is actually a photo of my friends and I on a backpacking trip. I love making image transfers with personal photographs to give to friends and family. And I'm going to put this on a smooth wood slice. You are also going to need um, something to smooth the air bubbles out of the glue and image. I'm going to use my library card for that. You will need a sponge and some water to remove the paper near the end of the transfer process. All right, so let me go ahead and move these supplies out of the way and we will get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is trace which part of the image is going to fit on my wood slice surface. So let me trace around here and it doesn't have to be exact. Let me cut it out. All right, so now I've got my image cut out to the size of my wood slice. And now we're going to take our glue, the Mod Podge, and open that and get some out with the brush. And I like to coat it on the surface of the wood. And it needs to be a thick coat. Okay, so now that I have the glue on my wood slice, I'm going ahead and take my image and place it on there. But this is an important part here. You want to make sure that you place your image printed side down um, onto the surface of the wood because this is the side that has the ink. All right, so once you have it placed down, you're going to take your library card or whatever you're using and smooth it out because you don't want any air bubbles underneath. All right, so this one is ready to dry. Um, I'm gonna let it sit overnight before I proceed to the next step. But I do have another wood slice that I prepared yesterday. Um, so let me go ahead and get that one and I'll show you how to remove the paper. So to remove the paper, you're going to take your sponge and get it wet and gently start rubbing the paper away. make sure you're doing this gently otherwise it could scratch and see here you can uh, see the paper starting to rub away but leaving the image so let's keep going see it's starting to reveal itself stay nice and gentle to get that paper layer off Looks like we're nearly done there. I'm 
So here it is with all the paper removed. Um, you can see it did get scratched a little bit here and here, but doing image transfers does take practice and there will probably always be some minor imperfections, but I love how these imperfections make the image transfer look rustic and vintage. Um, the next step, uh, once you have all the paper taken off, is to add another layer of Mod Podge just to protect the surface of the image. And this is just a fun way to preserve your memories and share them with your friends and family. Um, this is a picture that I took of Guadalupe Peak, the tallest mountain in Texas. And once I finish this image transfer, I'll put it with the one that I did of my friends and I backpacking, and I'll give it to one of my friends. So it'll just be a fun memory. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and try out image transfers on your own. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.